Tyler Scheid. I'm Cindy Scheid, and I'm Tyler's mom. I'm Tim Scheid. I'm Tyler's dad. Tyler had blood in his urine with his first year analysis. He was two or three years old. When he was in junior high, he showed with protein in his urine, so we had to have a kidney biopsy. So the prognosis over time was that he would probably, in his 20s, would go into kidney failure. I went through high school. This was when I really started seeing Dr. Devarajan. So I went through my entire high school career, won the state championship in water polo my senior year. Freshman year of college, I decided I wanted to play football again. In sophomore year, they moved me to receiver. Come junior year, it was when I started into my kidney failure progression. Dr. Devarajan, he said, well, we need to look into getting a transplant now. One of my distinct memories is when I first heard the news that I needed a transplant was actually on my 20th birthday, and it was my two best friends that I was hanging out with. So right when I got the news, I was able to break it to them. Both of them offered to get tested. I had a lot of people come forward. I wasn't going around asking. I I didn't even ask my brother, and he's the one who ended up giving me a kidney. Went to the hospital two days early, had a bunch bunch of friends come in to visit me, 20-some people in my room at one time. I was actually kind of proud of Jared and, and both of them, actually. It was uh, a little hard to take, especially waiting in the waiting room. That was probably the longest, what, 10, 12 hours. Unlike my wife, I had experience waiting on this because she is also a kidney transplant recipient, and I had to go through this twice. I've actually had two kidney transplants. I had my first one in 1999. My sister gave me one of her kidneys. April of 2007, got the call. It was a perfect match. It was also from a two-year-old. So I actually got two more kidneys because of the size, because when they transplant a pediatric to an adult, they actually put both of them in. Every July, I actually call my brother. I don't care what he's doing. That transplant day, I call him and I talk to him. Whether or not he says it or not, I know he likes that I call him. Organ donation is quite possibly one of the greatest gifts you can give somebody. 